Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast show. Now, we can all agree that on Monday afternoon, when the news of the passing of Mamnom Zamo, Winifred Zanyiwe Matigizela Mandela, was heard all across the nation, that many of us bowed our heads in a collective moment of silence to honor the mother of the nation. And now, joining us on the line to provide a perspective of someone who knew the revered struggle icon is the Mandela family spokesperson, Mr. Victor Lamini. Thank you very much for joining us. Now, I'm sure that it must have been quite a shock to everyone who was around Mawini, because I understand that uh, on, the, on this past Good Friday, uh, she was actually at church attending the Easter service there. So maybe if we started off there, could you maybe tell us what role faith played in Mawini's life to influence the struggle efforts she made in her life? Well, I think uh, she obviously believed more than in anything else in the importance of freedom. And I think that's why in the in, in, in her life, from her time as a young woman, as a social worker, she dedicated her whole life to attaining freedom for South Africans. And she believed very deeply in the idea that one of the noblest ideals that someone can fight for is freedom. And, um, and, 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 and she did that. She believed at a time when no one believed that South Africa could be free, that everyone could have the vote that, in fact, it will happen. And, and, and she had a deep faith in the ability of the people to resist apartheid, and uh, she, she, she put all her power into doing that. Mama, we need to turn to when it came to finding strength to support the nation, I mean, while she was raising her own children while her husband was incarcerated. Well, I think that anyone who knew her well uh, knew that, you know, the, the people of South Africa were her inspiration. As she says, you know, uh, people often ask her that, you know, who, who was she a product of? And she says, well, you know, I'm, I'm a product of my people. So w when she saw ordinary South Africans, whether in Soweto, uh, in Guguletu, or in Omlazi, taking up um, the, the struggle for freedom, that's what inspired her. And you could see her in her role, whether as a mother, as a social worker, or as just someone that ensured that those without a voice at the time, particularly during the 60s, 70s, and 80s, that she really believed very, very, very strongly in their ability to, to, to be an inspiration even to her. And it wasn't, it, it, it wasn't a secret that, you know, she was someone who was very deeply dedicated to the community where she lived and operated. Yeah, absolutely, and so much loved as well. Now, what qualities would you say Mamwini conveyed that uh, had made her uh, known as the mother of the nation? Well, I think the, the main thing um, was, you know, people got a sense of her ability to be uh, defiant, her ability to do whatever that she wanted to do, but also uh, to challenge authority, where she felt that, uh, the, that that authority was not just, and she believed very strongly that the apartheid government was an unjust government, and, and, and she made it her life mission to uh, challenge it. But even after South Africa got freedom, one of the things that she did, because she lived for, 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 for all the time in a... Uh, Orlando in Soweto, and she never moved to the suburbs. One of the things that she did was to ensure that those who still did not have access to water, access to food, or whose houses were swept away either during the floods or got burned, uh, whether those houses were informal houses or shacks, she was always the first one to come there with the word to comfort those who needed to be comforted or those who needed assistance. She was always there. So her commitment to her people, I think quite rightly, earned her the name the mother of the nation. And when we talk about Mama Winnie's legacy, what would you say that legacy is that South Africans can now use in their everyday lives in continuing uh, efforts to fight injustice? My sense is that, you know, whether it's a young women in South Africa who want to ensure that they challenge and even crush patriarchy, or those who just want to fight uh, for gender equality, or against any kind of 
uh, discrimination, both in the workplace, in society, or at universities, or wherever they find themselves, they can draw strength and inspiration from uh, Winnie Matigizela Mandela, who always believed that no matter how strong an obstacle if one was determined to remove it, mm. it was possible. And I think as we grieve for her, as we are all in the state of shock at her sudden passing, we should cherish the example that she set and, and appreciate that it is something that I think can inspire ourselves to make this a better world. Well, thank you very much, Ntati Lamini, for joining us on the line this morning. I think it is indeed a sad time for South Africa, but also a moment in which we can be grateful for the good fight that Mama Wini and people like her fought, so we can enjoy the freedoms that we subsequently have been since our country's liberation, and as well as a time to look for her or to look to her as a source of inspiration as we continue to fight injustices that persist to this day. Once again, thank you very much to the Mandela family spokesperson, Mr. Victor Lamini, for joining us on the line.